Hi guys! I know it's been so long since I vlogged. I have missed you guys. But let me tell you, nothing has changed. Just kidding! Um, a lot has changed. Hello! Hi! So, clearly a lot has changed. I got a puppy. His name is Benny and he is the cutest little puppy ever. You got eye boogies. You are not camera ready, mama. He is only four months old. He is a Jack Russell pug mix. And he is just that bitch, period. Aren't you, Benny? Yeah, period. So guys, there you go, Benny. Hello, I have missed you guys so much. It has literally been so long since I last vlogged. Um, some stuff has changed. I'm very excited for this video, not only because I'm back, but because I am going to be doing something with you guys that I have been doing through quarantine that has brought me so much enjoyment. It has kept me busy and it has gotten my creative juices out. I have been thrifting a lot now that the thrift stores are back open and I have been getting a lot of furniture because I have been doing a lot of furniture flipping. It's something that I really enjoy. I'm really into interior design. I plan on going back to school for it soon, but yeah, I just, I'm really into, I'm really into furniture flipping right now. It's something that I've really enjoyed doing. So I have two couches already downstairs and I have a chair in my boyfriend's truck that I'm going to be working on, but I want more. So today I'm going to be taking you guys thrifting with me and Mr. Beans. Let's go. All right, y'all, I'm in my basement. That's why it's looking a little dingy, but I have two couches down here. First of all, I have this. Focus on me. Focus on me. Why isn't it focusing? Oh my God, there must be spirits in this house. So I have this sectional right here. It is a two piece. This piece turns to make an L and connects over there like that. Um, two piece sectional. Freshly shampooed, this one is actually ready to go online and be posted. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come home so he can help me bring it outside because I am i don't take pictures in the basement, mama. No, never that, mama. Next, I have this really pretty, like, powdery blue, oh, like a grayish blue, light blue pull-out couch. This is actually a mattress that pulls out and it's another L shape. That's the other piece. This one still has to be cleaned, shampooed. I need to go through and I did a lot of it last night, but see these little like, see these little things? I go through and I, sh I have like some tools to shave all those off so that it's like nice and fresh. And then I clean it all up, shampoo it, and then I post it online. So this is my boyfriend's new truck. She's a beast, mama. Her name's Pearl. Her name's not actually Pearl, but she looks like a Pearl. It's a Ram 4x4, come on. For all you truck lovers out there. It's a 2500 heavy duty. A gas glizzy guzzler, to be honest. <sighs> this thing is a beast, dude. These are the cushions, by the way, to the couch, the like light blue couch that I showed you guys. Oh my goodness, this truck is so large and in charge, but like, I will admit, my little fairy ass driving this big ass truck is so funny to me. I'm over here like, a lot of gang shit, a whole lot of gang shit. All these plastic piling up, there's nowhere to hang shit. Sick, get a Z pack. Niggas don't mean my race when they say she black. I am the queen. I'm everything she lack. Bitch, get on your kneecap. I don't mean C cap. I'll get you check pussy. I'll get you a free pack. You bitches don't ball out. You get your QB. The only good thing about this truck is that the cup holder can hold a hydro flask. <sighs> Catch me getting a ram. Honestly, though, this truck has been a lifesaver. Um, when it comes to this whole furniture thing, it's been really, really helpful to be quite honest. I need the AC up stat. It has been a minute. <laughs> it has been a while since I've vlogged and I have truly missed it. I say that every time I take a break from vlogging. I don't even know why I take breaks. It's so dumb. Like, why can't I just like stick to something? 
What I'm trying to get at is I'm hopefully getting back into the groove of vlogging because I have truly missed it so much and I'm happy to be back. What I've been doing with this whole furniture thing, I used to do furniture. I used to do, I love doing it. It's something that I enjoy. I stopped doing furniture and then I saw a TikTok where some guy was flipping furniture and I'm not gonna sit up here and bash like everybody else, but she did not do a good job. It wasn't that great. It was not like anything that I would gag and goop over. It was not like, ooh, like that is a moment. Like I would buy that. It was all like, he sold what for what? Like how did he sell that and make that much money? And I thought, you know what? Let me get back to it because I could do so much better. Sorry, it's true. So the secret formula to what I've been doing is I go on Facebook Marketplace for a lot of my furniture and I go to the free section. I look for any free furniture that has potential. I look for sectionals. Sectionals is like my biggest flip. I look for sectionals and I just look for free sectionals. I just need some love, tender love and care. This cop right there, so we're just gonna put that down. And then I sell them for a few hundred dollars and they go like quick. And now that I have this huge truck, I offer free delivery. And free delivery is what I think the kicker is. I think that people jump on it more for free delivery because they don't have to go get it, they don't have to pay for the delivery. But really, like, if I'm gonna charge 150 for a couch, I charge, I, I post online 200. So I, I give myself a $50 delivery fee because it ends up being like an hour away. And this, this motherfucking truck, her throat game is disgusting. So, that is what I've been doing, y'all. I've really enjoyed it. It's honestly gotten my creativity out. It's something that I've really enjoyed. I, I love flipping furniture, giving furniture a whole new life. The first stop is Goodwill. I'm going into Goodwill. Goodwill is very 50-50 with their furniture. I feel like, my opinion is Savers has better furniture than um, Goodwill. I just think that Savers is a better thrift store in general than Goodwill. Oh, I don't know if you guys have a savers where you are at, but still checking Goodwill because sometimes you can find some gems. Don't know if I'll vlog in the store. Maybe I'll sneak some videos on my phone, but I'm very awkward and socially anxious. So I might see you guys when I get back. Whew. All right, y'all. So I didn't find any furniture. To be honest, I need to turn the truck on. I'm sweating. To be honest, I went yesterday, um, but I did find are looking at me. Oh my god, there's a whole car of people looking at me. Uh -huh. So, something I did find is this dinner set. It's like a spoon, this little like thing. I don't know. And then all these bowls and this big wooden bowl. And it's like a really cool little wooden dinner set that I feel like would be so sick to sell. So I'm gonna sell that. I just thought it was cute. To be honest, I'm considering keeping it. I think it's so cute. Like imagine like a little, oh my God, having your friends over and having like a little salad or doing like a picnic. That is, should I keep it though? All right, so that was the Goodwill that's like right next to my house, but there's another Goodwill and then there's a Savers, which is like, just like a Goodwill that is like 15 minutes away. So we're gonna head there. We are a five Goodwill number two. Oh, that was kind of good. Let's just say unsuccessful in furniture, but Pretty successful in cloth. Y'all, yeah, I need to stop shopping for myself. Like, the whole point is to be out here buying things that are gonna make me money, but I'm out here shopping for myself, wasting money, so. It's just funny, I just think it's funny. Funny story, not so funny, very awkward actually. I was in there um, shopping and the worker cashed me out. I was like, oh, like, can I get a bag? Like I know you have to pay for bags at Goodwill, but there was a lot of stuff that I didn't want to carry. So I was like, oh, can I get a bag? She was like, sure. She like rings up all my clothes, throws them into a pile next to the register and then puts down a paper bag on the counter. And then at the end of the transaction, she just like looked at the pile of clothes and then looked at me and smiled. And I was like, um, she was like, all set. 
like have a good day. I was like, okay. So then I just like in a line of people awkwardly folding my own clothes and bagging my own clothes and I, I had a lot. So I was there for like a minute. It was literally so uncomfortable. Anyways, hopefully at the next place, I at Savers is the last stop. I find a piece of furniture that is going to like make today worth it because I've really just been spending money on myself and that's not good. So I'll see you guys at Savers. I'm already like halfway out of the car because I forgot to show you guys, but this is Savers. Oh my God, someone just walked by. Savers. I'm going in there now. What is actually wrong with me? Why did I just buy more things for myself? More clothing to be specific. What's not clicking? Like what is wrong with me? I just spent more money on myself. So today was unsuccessful, furniture wise. Extremely successful for the first time in a while on clothing. Lately I've been having a hard time thrifting clothes, but today mama, whew. I'll check my bank account. Okay, you guys, I just got home from thrifting and I figured I would show you guys the clothes before I started working on the couches. So first of all, I got this like long sleeve velvet. It has like, almost like corduroy, like the lines, little half button up. I thought that that would be a moment, like a going out in the winter kind of moment. This with like jeans, Chelsea boots. Ooh, that would look so good. And to go with that bougie aesthetic, I got a pearl necklace. How funny is that? That is bougie, bitch. Next, I just got these like simple black shorts that I'm going to roll up to make shorter. I just wanted like a pair of black shorts that weren't athletic so that I could wear them with like nicer shirts. Um, and then I have these athletic black shorts. They say army on it. I think these are authentic like army shorts. I got this like flannel that I wanted to wear. It's just like a oversized extra large flannel button down that I wanted to wear with the um, black shorts that I was talking about and some like white vans. Next I got this shirt literally because it has a dog on it and it looks cute. I got this champion tank top. Honestly, it could be women's. I love wearing a tank top to bed, so that's why I got this. And then I got another one, which I was like, holy shit, Champion's a good brand, but this one's a medium, so I don't know how it's gonna fit. Might give it to my friend if it doesn't fit me, so yeah. That was just savers, y'all. Goodwill. I got these denim shorts, these denim pants that I'm going to customize, these denim pants, they're Levi's that I'm gonna customize, this real tree camo shirt, which I just thought would look sick with like a pair of light wash jeans. I live in New Hampshire, so I don't know why I got this, but it's a New Hampshire purple crew neck. And then I got this really oversized. I like the way the fabric feels. Um, I don't even know what that is. It says Switzerland in Bermuda. I think it's like a vacay shirt, but I just like the texture. It's a bedtime shirt. That is all I got for clothing at the thrift store, guys. But so now I'm gonna go downstairs. It looks like it's about to rain, so I need to get that couch outside so I can take a picture of it and list it online and hopefully sell it. And then I'm gonna get going on shampooing the other couch. I look so bad. Hi guys, it is the next day. If you look over there, the couch that I have over there is gone. I literally listed it, like I put I put it on to sell um, and it sold within 20 minutes maybe and I had delivered it the, the night of and then I went to bed and I woke up and now I have to do this couch. I have to clean this couch so that I can sell it and look what just came in the mail conveniently. I got these little brushes. This is the white one, not sponsored. Wish it was, if you're watching this, sponsor me, but they're called the drill brush. You attach these bristle heads to a drill and the white one, the different colors are for different things. There's like all these colors and the white one is for upholstery. It's for couches and stuff like that. It came with this one, this little detailed one and then this one, which is like all the way around and you just put that into a drill. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna test these out. I'm going to soak this couch completely with cleaner. I got this cleaner right here. Um, I'm gonna soak it, I'm gonna scrub it all down, and then I have my little vacuum over here. Can't even see it, the, the Bissell wet back, and I'm going to clean this completely, and then list it today, so hopefully I sell that one. So, this is what I'm saying, guys, is these couches sell within minutes. Like, I'm telling you, they sell like the day of. I, I listed it, and within 10 to 20 minutes, somebody was like, yes, I want it, and I went and delivered it right away. So, with that being said, I'm gonna need some money, so let me go ahead and shampoo this couch, Give me a little check. On to the next one.
Okay, so to start off, I bought this thing that um, basically shaves all the pills and stuff like that that I was talking about on this couch. Because this couch had so many, so I went on Amazon and bought this. And it worked really, really well, actually. It just shaved off all of them and then put them in a little compartment and then I just like emptied it out at the end. Um, highly recommend. I will try to link it below if I can find the link. Um, it was probably like 10 bucks and it worked really well, like I said. Then after I got some OxyClean and I just soaked the entire couch down so it was just all nice and wet because next I'm going to do the scrubber. So I wanted to make sure that the couch was nice and wet. It was like a cleaning product. It was like not going to stain, not going to leave anything behind. It was just going to do a good job cleaning and getting down deep in there. So I soaked the entire thing before I started the bristles. I got a pot of water with more OxyClean in it like you saw. So I can dip the bristle, the drill head bristle, into the water to make sure it was just nice and wet. I wanted to make sure it was wet and I got all the stains out. This couch had like a lot of stains. It came from a house with a few little kids. So I think it was just like food stains and stuff like that. So I soaked the bristles as much as possible before I went in and scrubbed literally every single inch of this, of this couch. After soaking and scrubbing down the entire couch, I am now going through and wet vacuuming the um, rest, the entire couch actually. I'm starting from the very beginning once again and just vacuuming up everything. The um, wet vac has its own upholstery cleaning solution in it as well, so it's basically being double cleaned. It's the um, OxyClean scrub down, the spray, and then now it's being cleaned with the upholstery cleaner and this wet vacuum. This wet vacuum works pretty well. I got it from Walmart. It was um, fairly cheap, but I think for what I'm trying to do, it's good for like if you just want to own it and just clean up stains on your couch every now and then. I personally am going to look into something a little more heavy duty and stronger just because I want to make sure that my couches are nice and clean. But this does the job for now. Alright you guys, I totally forgot to film an outro for this video. I believe this was literally like kind of long ago. I haven't just haven't edited this. So I believe that couch also sold within the day of posting and I delivered it. Um, finished cleaning it, let it dry. So what I didn't show though is after I do all the wet vacuuming and stuff like that. I just let it sit and dry and then I end up posting it. Posted that couch and sold it. But that is basically how I've been making money thrifting. Um, you guys want to give it a try. If you guys have the opportunity, the, if you have a truck, or any way to deliver it, highly recommend. It is such a good way to get money. But that is all for, that is all for today, guys. I will see you next time. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Ew, I hate saying that. Um, social media links down below. You know the drill. This is also like one of my longest videos to date. I think this video is like, I've never posted a video this long. I don't even know how it got to be this long. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. Period. Say bye, Benny. He's asleep. Bye.